Well, the I mean, the vulnerability thing I really like. You know, oftentimes you come into these... Um, you, you come into these characters and they're straight up just really strong, confident women. And I, I seem to have played a few of them now, <laughs> strong, confident women. But what I liked about Aya was that she is vulnerable at first. And she she's sort of like, uh, I mean, people can relate to her because she, she's more normal. Like she's a normal girl that she's put into this situation and she's the only one that can do this overdive thing. And... Um, and I think it's challenging for her, and it's scary, and it's all those things. So she's vulnerable, but you know she has a real journey, and she grows throughout the game as you progress. She's a little more vulnerable in the beginning as well. So I feel like there was a lot of that vulnerability in the voice, a lot of uh, youth in the voice, and as the game progresses, she gains more confidence, and so does her voice in a way. You have to show that through the voice. So. You know, it was, it was challenging, fun and challenging. It puts a lot of pressure on her to um, to get it right. So, you know, and that's where the player comes in. I think the players, you know, they have to help her get through this situation. And, um, I mean, that's why it's confronting for her in the first place, um, which makes it, you know, real. There's a lot of... Um, it's, it's quite emotional. There's quite a few emotional sort of scenes in the game as well. So, you know, it's a bit different. It's not your usual you know, bang, bang, shoot some bad guys, next level type game. It's it's fleshed out, it's, you know, very story, character driven, and yeah, there's, it, it, there are some emotional pieces in it. By we, I mean um, my cast of the show that I'm on, which is Chuck, who, I, and you know, there's a similar following. Um, they're, they're sort of like the gamer world, which is, you know, connected to this sort of world, and uh, we always go to Comic-Con, so it's, um, it's kind of a big deal, Comic-Con, and I, I never really knew what it was until I went there for the first time four years ago. Um, so yeah, there, there's a really big following from, from the video game stuff that I've done and, and the series, and um, they are the most passionate people I have ever met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's they're really great. They're really great people because, um, you know, they keep me going in this business. I have a very uh, grueling schedule, so I don't often get time to go to the gym. I don't really like gyms. I, I go hiking. If I do anything, I go hiking. I take my dogs. Um, but what really sort of keeps me fit is the fight scenes that I do on a daily basis um, through Chuck because uh, my character is, you know, CIA agent. She's always doing some fight scenes. So uh, I, I stay pretty fit doing that because we will shoot a fight scene for hours and hours. And it's um, exhausting often. And oftentimes we'll shoot fight scenes at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, <laughs> you know, you just have to keep your stamina up. In the first season, I had a lot of... Um, just some one-on-one -on -one with our fight coordinator, Dave Morizo. He taught me a lot of uh, kung fu stuff and different martial arts. And um, I have a dance background, so for me, um, the fight scenes are like a a dance in a way, and, and that's how I remember them. Uh, so, and it, and it's been four years now, so it doesn't take me very long to learn them now. It takes me fifteen to thirty minutes, and it, it's the actual day, the day of shooting, where I get my workout because <laughs> it's grueling. I think I can shoot a gun way better than I can. Uh, I'm actually, they still make me jittery. I've, I've used them for four years and I still get a little bit nervous every time I have to shoot one. And you know, sometimes we do scenes and they hand me a big machine gun and I have to do the whole machine gun thing and that's nerve wracking, but you know, I gotta pull it off because I'm supposed to be kick ass. <laughs> I think the third birthday is um, very like story based, character driven and um, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of great visuals. I mean, it, it's um, sort of set in the present day, I guess, with um, very realistic characters and um, people that you can relate to. And so not only is there all this action stuff, uh, you know, and the mission and what you have to accomplish um, to play the game, but there's also a lot of emotional content and there's a story. and. Um, there are some emotional scenes, and uh, I think it's it's very well-rounded in that way. So I think fans can look forward to 
having quite an experience. It'll be kind of like watching a movie, I guess, and getting lost in this world.